What's up, OCC gang? It's a beautiful Florida day. We're going inside CVS, but I need y'all to hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I want to take you in the store with me, but you got to be in the gang to shop with your girl. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. We're going to do some CVS deals. I'm going to grab a cart. If you don't know how to shop at CVS, that's cool. I will teach you. Let's get started. If I could, I would shop all day. You don't need any paper coupons for this. All you need is your CVS card, and that's free for anybody to get. If you don't have a CVS card, all you need to do is go to CVS.com and sign up and get a free CVS card, or you can go up to the register and ask any cashier for a CVS card. Just tell them you want to sign up, and they'll tell you exactly how to get one. So the first thing I like to do when I come into the store is grab the ad because it tells you what all the sales are and all the deals. So even if you don't see shelf tags hanging, good morning. Even if you don't see shelf tags hanging, telling you what the sales are, if your store isn't tagged, like this store has this tag up, letting you know of the sale. But let's say, for instance, you go into your store and they don't have any of this kind of stuff up and you're like, what do I do? What do I do? Get the ad. It will tell you what the sales are. And your best friend at CVS is going to be this red coupon center right here. This thing is going to be your best friend because it will not only print coupons for you when you scan your CVS card right here, it'll print coupons for you. Not only that, but let's say something's not marked in your store. You can always just pick it up and scan it right here at this machine and it will tell you the price. It'll let you know if it's on sale, the UPC item number, anything you need to know, how long the price is valid, all of it. So this is one really, really great way to know what you're doing at CVS if you're just starting out, just learning, and you don't know what's on sale, you don't know what's going on. You can always scan it here and always scan your CVS card right here and your coupons will print. Now, I'm going to scan my card, but here's a little trick. Scan it until it stops printing coupons. After you scan once, your coupons will start printing, but then scan your card again and surprise, sometimes more coupons will print. Scan it a third time, a fourth time. Scan it until coupons stop printing because sometimes you can scan it up to three, maybe four times and stuff will just keep printing. So scan until it doesn't want to be your friend anymore. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm going to scan my card and then we'll get right into the deal. So I just scanned my CVS card and it says, thank you for scanning. My coupons are getting ready to print. So I'm waiting on them to print. And just like that, they're printing right now. And like I said, if you wanna scan a couple more times, go ahead. I'm definitely gonna scan again just to see if they have anything else for me. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Look, that's crazy. <laughs> This is a lot of coupons, guys. I think we can do some really great deals with these. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> let's get started. Okay, so let's get into our first deal. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some Pantene. But before we even pick up the Pantene, while you're walking over to the Pantene or writing this down, let me show you exactly why we're getting the Pantene. In the ad right here, you see this promotion for Get $5 back when you spend $20 on participating products. And here are some of the participating products right here. And as you can see, Pantene is included. So let me explain this one more time. So when we spend $20 on any of this stuff that you see here, and you can see right here in this white bubble that there are more offers available on other pages. So when we spend $20 on any of this stuff, CVS is going to give us $5 back in CVS money to go spend on anything that we want immediately in the store. We can save our $5 when we get it back and you can spend it another day or you can spend it immediately. So once you spend $20 on this stuff, you're gonna get $5 back. And guess what? Even better, you can use coupons to make your total lower than the required $20. Okay, so as long as we get $20 worth of stuff in the cart, 
Coupons can make it lower than $20 and we'll still get $5 back. Now, if that was confusing for you, don't worry. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. And as long as you do exactly what I do, then this will work out perfectly for you. So let's go ahead and get Pantene. That's going to be our first item. The Pantene is on sale 3 for 12 And you can see right here at my store, they don't have the tags up. And that's exactly what I was explaining to you. Sometimes they don't have time. Sales are popping. It's busy. They didn't have a chance to put up the new tags just yet, but because you have the ad, you know what's included and you know how much it costs. So right here it's saying it has to be shampoo or conditioner between 12 to 12.6 ounces or the three minute miracle. And I think this is the three minute miracle right here. And then the regular Pantene, it said what? 12, yeah, 12 to 12.6 ounces. So that's like this size here this size here okay so now we know what's included because we looked at the ad so i'm just going to get three make sure you get three and make sure they're the right sizes and add them to your cart now that you have three of the pantene in your cart you can look i have my three in my cart you should also have three of the pantene in your cart now let's talk what coupons we're going to use first you need a coupon for five dollars off when you buy three and that coupon is on the CVS app it's free for everybody to get that coupon just go to CVS.com and go to your coupon section or go on the CVS app and go to the coupon section and you'll see a coupon for five dollars off when you buy three Pantene and they're letting you know right here on the ad you see where it says five on three send to card they're letting you know that that coupon is right there on the app and you can send it right to your CVS card and it'll come off at the register. It's a digital coupon. That means you have no paper coupons that you need to take up to them. You just select this coupon on the app. Okay, so we're buying three for 12. Let's look at the cart. We're buying three for 12. That coupon is gonna take off five. Now you'll only have to pay seven, but wait, it gets even better for some people. If you have this coupon, for $3 off when you spend $12 on shampoo, you can get an additional $3 off. So you know how I scanned my card at that big red machine when I walked in the door? Go ahead and scan your CVS card at that machine. And if you have this coupon, you can use this coupon too. So not only will you save $5 off for buying three, but now if you have this, you can save an additional $3. Now that's not mandatory. If you don't have that coupon, that's fine. You can still do this deal. But if you have that coupon, even better. And you know what, guys? It gets even better. Some people have another coupon on the CVS app for $1 off on Pantene shampoo. Yes, there's an extra coupon for another dollar off on Pantene shampoo. So if you're one of the lucky ones who has that, go ahead and use that too. And you'll pay even less. So let's review one more time. Three for 12 we're going to save $5 with that app coupon. That brings us down to $7. If you have that extra $3 coupon, check your CVS app and check the CVS coupon center, that red machine. If you have this one, that brings you down to three for only $4. Let's move on and get our next item. We're kind of starting slow with CVS right now because it's the beginning of the year and a lot of people are getting into couponing. And so a lot of people either need a refresher on how to coupon at certain stores or have no clue what in the world they're doing at all. And they need to learn from the ground up. So if you're not a newbie and you're advanced, this video might kind of bore you a little bit. But if you're a newbie, I hope that you can appreciate the time that I'm going to take explaining this to you. And if you like what you see and you like being here, join my OCC gang family. Join the gang and hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the deal. Okay, so now that you're getting the hang of it, let's get our next item. Our next item is going to be Tide Pods. And you can see right here, they're on sale for $4.94. That's a pretty good price. And they're included in this Spin 20 deal that we've been talking about. We talked about it with the Pantene. And you can see right here that Tide Pods are actually included. So we're going to get Tide Pods for $4.94. And there's a coupon on the CVS app for... $2 off when you buy Tide Pods. So I'm just gonna put Tide Pods right in here with my shampoo, I'm adding them. And make sure you clip that coupon for $2 off when you buy Tide Pods. Surprise, there are more coupons on the CVS app that you can use for Tide Pods, like this one. I already sent it to my cart, but I wanna show you guys, check it out. It says save a dollar on Tide Pods. It's a CVS coupon, so if you have that, you can clip that too. And instead of saving just $2 on your Tide Pods, You'll now save $3 
on your Tide Pods, which is even, even better. If you didn't understand that, don't worry. I'll show you all again at the end. I'll explain it so many more times. OCC gang, you guys know, I will say it over and over until you're dreaming about it. Now let's talk about our next item. We're gonna be getting Tide Liquid. It's on sale for $5.94 and it's included in that same spend 20, get $5 back deal. So go ahead and get one of the included varieties and add it to your cart. Now, you wanna go on the CVS app I haven't tried this one yet. Maybe I'll do this. You want to go on the CVS app and clip your coupon for $2 off when you buy Tide Liquid. So let's go over our coupons one more time before we head to the register. For the Pantene, they're three for 12 and you should have that $5 off digital coupon from the CVS app. Go ahead and send it to your card. Have it clipped and ready to go on your CVS account. This one is optional. If you have this added in, you'll save even more. Okay, if you have the save $3 when you spend 12 coupon, you'll save even more. Now, some people, again, may have that coupon for a dollar off of Pantene, an extra coupon on the CBS app. If you have it, go ahead and clip that too. You'll save even more, but it's optional. The only coupon that's mandatory for this is that coupon for $5 off when you buy three. That's the only one that you need to have. Okay, so the Tide Pods, $4.94, and we have a digital coupon for $2 off. Now, some people have the app-only coupon for an extra dollar off of your Tide Pods. You see where it says app-only? It'll be right there on the CVS app. If you have that one, go ahead and clip it. It's not mandatory. It's completely optional. The only coupon that's mandatory is the one for $2 off Tide Pods. Now, our Tide Liquid, $5.94, clip that coupon. For $2 off of the Tide Liquid, and again, if you're confused on which Tide coupons to clip, just clip them all. Just go down on the app and press every single coupon. Now, clip that coupon for $2 off Tide Liquid, and here's another optional coupon that you don't have to have, but it helps to have it. $2 off of $8 worth of Tide Liquid detergent and pods. If you have that, that's a bonus $2 that you can save. It's not mandatory, but it does help to save any extra money that you can. So let's go over our mandatory coupons one more time. $2 off, $2 off, $5 off. You only need those three coupons. Everything else is optional. Let's go ahead and check out. So I got the $5 back and I'm really excited about getting the $5 back, but my grand total was $6.88. $6.88 for all of those items. I got five items, yeah, three Pantene, two tight, five items for $6.88, but I got $5 back. So it's really almost like $1.88 if you want to think about it that way. I like to say I spent $6.88 because I'm going to spend this $5. But if you want to know like how I did it and everything, I told you how I did it, but if you want to see the receipts, some people are receipt people. They live on receipts. They thrive on reading the receipts. I got you. Let's take a look at my receipt and see exactly how it looks on paper. Okay, so here is the receipt. You see the three Pantene, they're three for 12, and those are the first entries that you'll see. Let me get a little closer. Pantene, three for 12, and then you see the Tide Pods and the Tide Liquid. So we got everything we said we were gonna get. The coupons came off like they were supposed to, but let's look at the coupons down here, kind of itemized, you'll see individually. That first $5 Pantene came off. You know what, that coupon was for $5 off when you buy three. Then we have our Tide that came off, $2 off one Tide Pods. Then we have $2 off Tide Liquid. The coupon that I told you about for $3 off when you spend $12 on hair care, that one came off. $2 off $8 worth of Tide, that came off. A dollar off Tide Pods came off. And that additional $1 bonus Pantene shampoo coupon I told you about, that came off too. My total was $6.88 plus tax and I got $5 back. This deal was so, so good. Now what do you think guys, spend this $5 now? by doing another deal or just walk away and save it for later. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I really, really wanna spend it. So I now have this $5 in CVS money and I can spend it on anything that I want in the store. There are a few exclusions like alcohol and tobacco, things like that, but you can spend it on pretty much anything else that you want in the store. I like to usually spend mine to make more money because if we're getting free money back, why not use that free money to make even more free money it just goes on and on and I love that so much. So how I'm gonna spend my $5? Well, I have my eyes on this deal right here. It says that this Crest toothpaste is $3, but it's saying if I buy it for $3, CVS is going to give me another $2 back. I think that's a good deal. 
you buy it for three dollars and cvs gives you two dollars back in cvs money kind of just like this so it's only three dollars we have five dollars here why not use a part of our five dollars here and buy this three dollar toothpaste but it gets even better down here at the bottom it says limit of two per household per week so that means i can do this offer twice so if you want to do what i'm going to do here's what we're doing occ gang and i think this is like such a great idea and it's a really great deal so we're going to get two of these toothpaste that's going to come out to six dollars right now go on your cvs app and clip the coupon for one dollar off so we're getting two that's six dollars clip that coupon for a dollar off how much are we at now we're at five dollars for two of the toothpaste oh and surprise how are we gonna pay for it with the five dollars that we just earned okay so we're getting two for six dollars clip that coupon for a dollar off that brings you down to five dollars for two you're gonna pay with this and you're gonna owe nothing at the register okay maybe tax if you have tax on this toothpaste but other than that you're not gonna owe anything because you're paying with the free money that you already had and check this out you're gonna get two dollars back for the first box and two dollars back for the second box so we're gonna actually pay nothing and get four dollars back this is so much fun okay so you should have your two toothpaste and don't forget to use the five dollars that you just earned on that last transaction to help pay for this one okay guys so my total is 42 cents and that's just my florida tax your tax might be a little bit different but you should pay absolutely nothing only tax for this transaction check it out guys we got another four dollars back i don't know why i'm sounding like i didn't know we were getting this back but i get excited every time i get something free or every time i get money back on a transaction so now we have all of our pantene our tide and we have the crest we didn't pay anything for the crest let's look at this receipt the Crest coupon came off for a dollar off, just like we said it would. And then that $5, we used that $5 to pay. The subtotal was zero plus tax. Your tax might be cheaper than mine. I don't know, but I'm not crying about that 42 cents tax that I spent. And check this out. We got $4 back and we spent nothing but tax. Y'all, should we spend the $4 on something else to make more money? Or should we call it a day and just get something that we want? That's the question now. Make more money or just let it go. Time to go home. I don't know. Okay, so there's a couple deals that I'm looking at right now. We have this free $4 to spend right there, $4 in CVS money. I'm looking at a couple deals. I'm looking at the gum right here. It's three for four and you get a dollar back. We could totally just get three of those and not pay anything. We could use this $4 that we just earned to pay and get another dollar back. So that's kind of good, but I don't need any gum right now because I'm doing the Daniel Fast. I forgot to tell y'all, I started the Daniel Fast. So if you don't know what that is, I'll explain it in another video. I did it last year and I really, really appreciated y'all hanging out with me while I had to like fast from all kinds of foods that I really, really like. You can't have bread, you can't have sugar, you can't have anything sweet, no bread, you can't have, there's so much stuff you can't have on this fast and you can only have like beans and you can only have things grown from the ground and it's a really really hard fast but i do it with my church every year and it's just a new beginning at the beginning of the year like millions of people do it in january if you're doing it let me know in the comments below so we can like support each other because this fast is very difficult but i love it every year it gives me a new beginning i clean out all of my old things i give things to charity i try to like just refresh my life and refresh my body at the beginning of the year and this fast is like the perfect way to do that so i'm thinking about gum but I don't need it, I can't eat it right now, so I would have to save it until the Daniel Fast is over. It lasts for 21 days, but this would be a good one if you guys wanna do it. I think I might do this, cause I do chew gum, and the fast is only 21 days, so I'll be able to chew that, or I can give it away. Um, and then, this one looks good, three for 333, but it would put me under $4, and I would need to buy something else to get over $4. Another thing I was looking at, I was looking at Pringles too, because they're three for five but then i would have to come out of pocket a dollar because we only have the four dollars that we earned and i don't want to like spend too much then i'm looking at DiGiorno; they're two for ten huh but it says or 6.59 each if you don't get both if you're just getting one it's 6.59 so that would be out um let's see what else is in here that looks good 
I know there had to be some other things that I was looking at. What would you spend the $4 on? Do you see anything in the ad right now that you're like, yeah, girl, you should be getting that. This candy two for five Valentine's Day, that would make a good gift. You have the $4, so you wouldn't have to pay much. Or maybe getting a couple of these Dawn soaps. That would be a good one, but you have to spend the whole $4. You can't come in at like $3.99, then the machine won't take it. Cookies, this is a good one, two for six. You could use that $4 and pay. So you would only pay $2 out of your pocket, but then you get $125 back. Oh, and even better, there's a coupon on the CVS app for 75 cents off. That's a good deal. That's kind of a good one. So you would pay $5.25 and then get $1.25 back. Not bad. Well, that comes out to almost being like an even trade. Oh, I might do that one. That comes out to be almost even. Hmm. Y'all, I'm looking. All right, let's figure out what deal we're going to do. Oh, perfect. I found it. This is what we're doing. Cheez-Its and Goldfish, two for four. We can get out of here without paying anything free and clear. I love it. This is what I'm doing. Are you guys doing this? How do you feel about it? Oh, what about Suave? Hmm. I'm going to check the price on the Suave, and if the Suave price isn't great, then I'm going to go with the Cheez-Its. Now, as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like the Suave is even on sale. But, like I told you guys, if your store isn't marked or you're not sure, just go up to the red machine and scan it. And it'll let you know if there's a sale or anything. Somebody just left all their coupons. Too bad you can only use them on your assigned account. Okay, it says they're two for six. That's not bad. So, if we bought two for six and used that four dollars, we will only pay two dollars out of our pockets and we will get two dollars back. So if you're interested in that deal, that's a good one if you need shampoo. Just go ahead and get two of the Suave and then use that $4 that we just earned to pay. And then you will get $2 back because the ad says you'll get $2 back. So get two Suave, that's $6. Use the $4 here to pay. You'll still owe $2 out of your pocket, but according to the ad, you'll still get $2 back. That's a pretty good deal if you needed the Suave anyway and you're willing to come out of your pocket only $2 and you'll still get that $2 back and you just you can keep the fun going. You can get something else with the $2 that you earn. Me though, I'm thinking I'm thinking of a master plan. I want to get out of here without paying anything, but I want it to be epic. Okay, so I finally figured out the deal that I'm going to do and I'm pretty excited about it. I wanted to do another deal, but this coupon printed out for me at the CVS Coupon Center today and it reminded me that this also printed last week. So if this didn't print for you today, try to look back at your coupons from last week if you have any and see if you have one from last week. So there's a new one and an old one. Use either one. It doesn't matter. $2 off, $6 worth of body wash. That got me thinking. If I spend $6 on body wash... Hmm, and this takes off four, and this takes off two, I think that's six dollars off. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with my four dollars. I'm going to get six dollars worth of body wash, and I'm seeing some pretty good deals, but the best one that I'm seeing right now seems to be on the CVS brand, Beauty 360. It says right here, it's $4.19, buy one, get the second one 50% off, and this is a big 18 ounce bottle. So I think this is a nice size, 419 for the first one. The second one that I'm going to get is gonna be this one right here for 399, because a few cents will make that difference for me. So I'm gonna get the first one for 419, and that second one for 399. That's gonna put me right around $6, like $6.18, somewhere in that area. And so I'll save $2 because I'm spending $6 on body wash, and then, four dollars will come off of that leaving me to pay around 18 cents plus tax i'm happy with that now a deal that i wanted to do was going to be on these bottles because they're 199 buy one get one half off and i could have got four of these i thought that would have been a better deal to get four of these and do that deal but it comes in right at like 597 and I need to spend six dollars to use that coupon. I dropped it. Hold on. I need to spend six dollars to use this one. Two dollars off of six dollars worth of body wash. And getting four of these body washes comes in right at five ninety seven. I was like, man, because I would rather have four of these. That way I can share. I would rather have four of these than to just get the two big ones. Even though the size evens out, but still, I like sharing or putting things in little baskets. So four of these would have been better. So here's what I'm saying: if these at your store are a little bit more. Then $1.99 if they're like 
two dollars even then you can get four of these and use these two coupons this would be a better deal to get four of these and then use this but at my store they're $1.99 so it'll be $5.97 and it says two dollars off when you spend six not two dollars off when you spend five ninety seven so I'm gonna go with this deal that puts me at six dollars so if you want to do what I'm doing just get two of the beauty 360 one price for 419 and one price for 399 somewhere in that area and you're ready to check out side note really quick while I'm going to the register be on the lookout for some stuff like this face and body wash on clearance for 349 guys might like this just a little bit more and if you're into different body washes I completely forgot that I forgot to show you this shelf you might want to get the Nivea two for seven which I'm kind of considering getting two for seven I already have this in my cart but that's a good price you get two for seven and then these coupons would take off six so you would only pay a dollar for two that's almost a really great deal I'm like should I put these back and do that instead? What do you guys think? Which would be the best deal? And then the dial is two for eight. So, wow, that would be a good one too. There's so many good options, I don't know. And then, oh wow, the Women's Nivea is also two for seven. So I could totally do the deal on these two. Decisions, decisions, y'all. I think I'm gonna keep what I have because it comes to the lowest out of pocket and it'll come out to just change. And sometimes store brands are just as good as name brands, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep what I have and just, yeah, I'm good with that. Another quick side note while I head to the register, don't forget that CVS has hit 90% off, but I usually don't get really into 90% off at CVS because in Florida, a lot of CVS stores are really, really small. So we don't really get a lot of big clearance items when it goes down to 90% off. But if you have a bigger CVS store, then you might actually get some really, really good 90% off deals. So make sure you check your store while you're shopping. Okay, so this is everything that I was able to get for the whole day. And this was a lot of stuff. Let's look at how much I spent total. My first transaction, if you remember the one with the Pantene and the Tide, it came out to 688, so keep that number in mind. 688 plus tax. That was the first transaction. Now let's go over to the second transaction. The second transaction came out to zero dollars. Say it with me, zero dollars plus tax. But I like the zero dollars part better. So we got 688 and we got zero dollars right here. And then our last transaction on the body wash came out to 18 cents plus tax. So when you factor in that 688 plus that 18 cents, y'all, we came in around seven dollars for all of this and the best part about it is we didn't use any paper coupons we came in with only our phones or our cvs app however you got on cvs.com we only use digital coupons so that means anybody can do this if you have about seven dollars to spend and you have all of these digital coupons on your cvs account you can do this transaction and spend around seven dollars now if you don't have all the coupons that's okay you should still be able to get all of this stuff for around $15 or less. And that's a really good deal. You have your shampoo, toothpaste, laundry detergent, and body wash. That's pretty much all of the essentials that you're going to need to last you for the rest of the month. All right, OCC gang, that's it for me in this video here at CVS. I'm out.